Complementary and alternative medicine. Complementary and alternative therapies take a holistic approach to physical and mental health. They consider all aspects of your physical and emotional well-being as a whole rather than treating particular symptoms separately. For example, some complementary therapies focus on the mind, body and spirit. Or on the flow of energy through the body. They have roots in ancient Eastern health philosophies. Or are the traditional healing methods used before the development of modern medicine. Complementary therapies, such as yoga, massage and meditation, may be used alongside conventional treatments. Alternative therapies generally replace the treatments offered by your doctor, such as traditional Chinese medicine, Ayurvedic medicine or some herbal remedies such as St. John's Wort. You may decide to try complementary or alternative therapies because you don't want the treatment offered by your doctor. The conventional treatment offered did not suit you. You want more options to try in addition to the treatments offered by your doctor. You don't agree with your doctor's approach. As with all medicines and therapies, different things work for different people. It's not easy to predict which therapy will be the most useful or effective for you. Most of the evidence for complementary and alternative therapies is based on traditional use rather than modern scientific studies. However, many people find them helpful in managing or relieving their symptoms. Most complementary and alternative therapies are considered safe when monitored by a trained and experienced practitioner. There may be times when a certain therapy may carry higher risks and would not be recommended. For example, if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. If you are taking other treatments that could interfere with the therapy. You have a health problem that could be made worse by the therapy. Before any new treatment is started you should talk through any safety concerns with your doctor and the treatment provider. This is especially important if you're already taking any kind of medication. Only you can decide whether a treatment feels right for you. But it might help to think about. What do I want to get out of it? What does it cost? How long will it take? Is it open-ended or time-limited? Do I have health problems that may affect me being able to do the therapy? Am I receiving other treatments that may prevent me doing the therapy? You should find a practitioner who is registered with the relevant association, if one exists. As with any kind of therapy, it's important to find someone you feel comfortable with. Regardless of the kind of therapy or medicine they practice. If you don't like or trust that person, you are less likely to have a positive experience. Your practitioner should give you straightforward answers to your questions about what qualifications they have, what professional bodies they're registered with, their past experience of using the therapy for your specific problem, what risks may be involved, and what you should do if you experience any negative effects. Thank you for watching. Join us for our next video where we will look at the different types of complementary and alternative medicine.